Hand hygiene. We all think we know how and when to do it. So why are we still talking about it? Because hand hygiene saves patient lives and protects healthcare workers. As workers in a veterinary hospital, we are at an increased risk for contracting infectious diseases and diseases that can be transferred between animals and humans, known as zoonotic diseases. However, proper hand hygiene can help minimize that risk. There are three key reasons why the simple concept of hygiene deserves further discussion for those of us working at the VTH. First, proper hand hygiene protects our patients. It's estimated that 30 to 70 percent of healthcare associated infections are preventable through simple practices such as hand hygiene. Reason number two is that hand hygiene protects people. Contagious diseases are common in our work setting. However, hand hygiene provides a proven means of protection. For example, it has been demonstrated that veterinary care personnel who engage in proper hand hygiene are three times less likely to become colonized with MRSA. Finally, despite its importance, healthcare workers are inconsistent or even poor at washing their hands. While veterinary care workers self-report engaging in proper hand hygiene 75% of the time, video recordings of veterinary clinics found that overall compliance is a mere 14% and engaging in hand hygiene prior to patient contact was just 3%. In order to practice good hand hygiene, here are four main points to remember. When hand hygiene is necessary, wash your hands or use sanitizer frequently, especially before and after contacting every patient, before eating or drinking, and before leaving work. Contact time is important. For non-surgical settings, the recommended contact time for hand washing with soap and water is at least 15 seconds. 30 seconds is even better. A simple way many people time their hand washing is by singing Happy Birthday. Pay attention to cleaning parts of your hands that are most likely to be contaminated. Remember to focus on the fingers and the palms of the hands as those surfaces come in contact with patients and the environment most often. Pay special attention to areas between the fingers, the fingertips, and the base of the thumbs as those areas are commonly missed. Finally, pay attention to things that interfere with effective hand hygiene. Jewelry and long nails can trap germs on the hands, so it's better to not wear them or remember to remove any jewelry first and be sure to clean under your nails. Also, pay attention to the condition of your skin. Intact skin is easier to clean than skin that is chapped or cracked. Use of lotion and first aid for cuts will help maintain healthy skin. There are plenty of opportunities to clean your hands. Hand sanitizer rubs offer a convenient and effective method for hand hygiene. These dispensers are located throughout the VTH. Please be sure to use them. Apply a small amount to your palm and spread to other contact surfaces of the hand, making sure to rub your hands until the product is dry. This will take a minimum of 15 to 20 seconds. Make sure your hands are fully dry before touching other surfaces. However, if your hands are visibly dirty or contaminated, you must wash hands with soap and water. Also, hand sanitizers are not effective against certain pathogens, including bacterial spores, cryptosporidium, and non-enveloped viruses such as parvovirus, calicivirus, and rotavirus. Hand washing in the presence of these should be used whenever possible. For more information on hand hygiene procedures at the VTH, please refer to the Biosecurity SOP or by talking to members of the infection control team. By following these simple guidelines, we can help ensure a safe, clean, and healthy environment for our colleagues and our patients. Thank you for taking the time to review this essential healthcare practice. Remember, clean hands save lives. Protect patients, protect yourself.